Bhagwan, everybody. Welcome to our next episode of Talk the Things podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about, in no disrespect, do I say this, all of Bob Marley's concubines, excluding Rita Marley, which was his only wife. He had about eight other girlfriends that we officially know of and many, many children, about 12. And because of the Bob Marley movie that's been going around and the video I did, a lot of people were requesting to know all of them, his girlfriends and, and, and his kids that he had with each of them. I did this video earlier and the website I used to get the information was complete bullshit. It's named Atlanta Saltman. I'm going to post it here so you guys can see. Don't look on these people's website for nothing. Everything, I have to redo the whole video. So thanks to everybody who pointed out the um imperfections in that last video. But let's start on this one now. First person we have on the list is Cheryl Marie. And they were together from 1961 to 63. And this is before Bob and Rita got married. He was only 18 when he had his first kid with this lady. And her name was Imani. Imani Carol Manley. Until today, her mom still lives in Atlanta, they say. And the only pictures I can find of them is what I have up on the screen. But other than that, that's all we know of her. Secondly, now we have his wife, Rita Marley, and they got married in 1966 to his death in 1981. He had three children with her and adopted two of her other children that she had in a previous relationship. And Rita Marley was also one of his backup singers in his, um, when he would perform. I don't know if he was just going to say she was a backup singer because I'm sure she was a lot more than that. But she always sung backup to Bob Marley in his performances. Next person we have on the list is... Janet Hunt, and that is the mother of Rohan Marley. They were together from 1971 to 1972. And Rohan Marley is the one that is married to Lauren Hill, or not no more. But they were together for a little bit, had a couple children. One of the children's song, YG Marley, is going viral all over the world right now. It's a um kind of like a cover, a sample of one of Bob Marley's song. So they're still prevalent to this day, but that's Rohan Marley's mom and YG Marley's grandma. And the next person we're going to be talking about now goes by the same name, but a different last name. This person's name is Janet Bowen, and they were together from 1972 to 1973. And this is Karen Marley's mom. And from my research, it shows that this is a British lady. But other than them being together from 1972 to 1973, and that's Karen Marley's mom, there's not much that we know about this lady and how she's doing today. But the next person we're going to talk about is a lady named Lucy Pounder. And they were together from 1974 to 1975. And together they had Julian Marley. But this lady was born in Barbados and had Julian in the UK. So I believe that they were together when he went to the UK to go tour or do whatever he did. But this kid was born in the UK in 1975. And the next person we have now is a lady named Anita Balvins. And they were together from 1975 to 1976. And this is Kimani Marley's mom. She was a famous Jamaican um, table tennis player, or we call it ping pong. But they met Bob Marley and Anita, met at a, one of her um, tournaments, one of her rallies that she do with the tennis. And the next person we're going to be talking about is one of the most popular ones on this list. Everybody should know her. And her name is Cindy Breakspear. And they were together from 1977 to 1978. Even though she was around till he died, she was um, in a relationship, I must say, where they were together. It was only 1977 to 1978. And this is Damien Marley's mom. And she was a Miss World back in the 70s. And she still does her local modeling and stuff. But that's where we know her from is Miss World. They met because she lived in an apartment that a person named Chris Blackwell used to own. And then after what happened was Bob Marley wound up buying the building. And then together, that's how they... I put the video in my other... um The video of Damien explaining how they met. It's in my previous video if you guys want to go watch it. So that was how he met Cindy Breakspear. Tree Bills Food, the number one box food in the GTA, located in the east with prices you won't believe. Small soup, $3. Jerk chicken, $6. And a small oxtail, $8.50 on certain days only. We cater weddings, funerals, birthday parties, baby showers, and much, much more. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Tree Bills Food or call 416-554-5028. The next person I want to talk about, which was very interesting to me, was a person named Pascaline Bongo. And she was an African lady. She was a prime minister of Gabon or the president, whatever they have. She was their daughter. And Bob Marley supposedly told his mom that this was the only girl out of everyone we listed and the ones we're going to list. He loved her the most. And that, um, I don't know why they never continued the relationship or what happened. But from what we know is that he really did love her. And there was something special between Pascal and Bongo 
and Bob Marley. I don't have an exact date of when the relationship was. It must have been, they say, in the early 80s, but I can't be sure from what I've been researching. I can't really find a date. So if you guys know, let me know in the comment section. But that's all we have on her. The next person I wanted to talk about goes by the name of Esther Anderson. Now, she was Bob Marley's girlfriend in the early 70s. Um, They don't have no exact date, but they say between 1970 and 1972. And that she, the reason why she wound up leaving and they never continued the relationship was because she was disturbed by the fact that he had a wife and children. Like I said, she's a Jamaican actress, also a photographer, and she had multiple pictures with him. But um, other than that, they never had no children or nothing like that. It was just a relationship. The next person on the list we have is named Yvette Crichton. Now, they were together from 1980 to 1971 and had a pitney named Makita Marley. Now, other than just these two facts, I can't find, I can barely even find a picture of this lady. But they were together from 1980 to 1981. So this was right up until he died. This was like his last girlfriend. Him and her, and excuse me, Pascal and them two was around the same time. And this was the last people, like I said, that he had before he died. This was his last of his ladies that he had. And the last picnic that he had was Makita Marley. And right now she's about 42. So she was literally born as this man died. So I want to get into my final thoughts now about this whole situation, this whole Bob Marley thing that's been going around. Because of the movie that's just been released, a lot of people are now rediscovering Bob Marley, finding out stuff they never did. And a lot of people never knew about all of his girlfriends that he's had. I think a lot of people knew he had multiple children. Um, but I think they all, they never knew it was how it is. They never knew it was how it is. Um, but I feel like it's now time that we need to Lego this and talk about the man's music and legacy that he's left behind, not the woman and the children, because like the man's been dead for more time than he's even been alive. And the fact that just this keeps coming up and people just keep all over TikTok, all over everything I see, was Bob Marley a womanizer? Did he have too much woman? Was he a man whore? All these type of things. And I feel like we shouldn't be talking about this when you talk about Bob Marley because there's so whole whole much other people that look at Nick Cannon the man's doing the exact same thing and you know I I don't believe that Bob was going around making broken home but I just don't believe that we should be talking about this no more I put out this video because a lot of people did request and want to know who all of his female girlfriends were because I made a video talking about Cindy versus Rita Marley and I, people were always saying you know there's other ones you want to know about the others how does it go so that's why I decided to make this but I also believe that maybe I don't know do you think that Bob Marley them were polygamous do you think that because there's a lot of black people that live that way um not by necessarily choice but i feel like because girls are always bothering about men are cheating but when you think about how we lived in africa we never lived like this we never had one wife we had many many wife and many children many other cultures still practice that to this day and they say that it's european influence that made us black people stop living like that so that's why a lot of rasa people they see continue to live like this because they burn out babylon system and just don't believe no I shouldn't say don't believe that you should have one girl but he had his wife and he had many, many, many other women and none of them could have never talked to the wife. But I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this whole situation. Do you think Bob Marley was polygamous? Do you think the man's a womanizer? Personally, I think both know. I don't think the man was polygamous. I think the man just loved women. And I think that um, I, I don't want to say a womanizer because what was Bob really using? I don't know. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this situation. And let me know if you think also we just need to just let go this topic now. And just stop talking about all his concubine. And only talk about his legacy and his music. And the greatness that he's left behind for the world. You guys don't know. Until next time on Talk Your Things Podcast. <laughs>